Hello children. Hope you are enjoying and having fun learning through our videos. Today we will learn about three digit numbers. Let's learn. Hey look. Here the game of snakes and ladders is going on. Here Badbole Badak Uncle, Bhola Donkey, Sher Khan and Guggu Hippo are playing. Badbole Badak Uncle is on box 24 which is 24 step ahead the starting box. Let's see who is on which number in this game. Can you tell me who is on the largest number? Yes, Gagu is on the largest number 54. Which player is on the smallest number? Barbola Badak is on the smallest number 24. Can you tell me the name of the number on Bola's box? Yes, it's 47. Can you write the number at which Sher Khan has reached? Very nice. It is the correct answer. What is this? Badbole Badak Uncle 1. He has reached 100. So far, we have learnt about two digit numbers. In this lesson, we will learn about three digit numbers. The count of three digit numbers starts from 100. Do you know that 100 runs in the game of cricket is also called a century? Let's see how uncle won this game. And where are the other players? Oh, uncle got a ladder straight up to 100. And poor Gagu was swallowed by a snake straight down to 27. Can you tell me how many steps must be taken for these players to reach 100? Oh wow children, you have given all the answers absolutely right. Likewise, we can know the difference between any two digit number and 100. So children, can you think of a number more than 100? Is there a number bigger than 100? We will see the answers to all these questions in the next video. In this lesson, we have learnt about two digit numbers and their relationship with 100. We also learnt about three digit numbers. Children, in the last video, we learnt about two digit numbers and their relation with 100. In this video, we will learn about three digit numbers. Listen, listen, listen. All the people of Champapur are hereby notified to participate in the competition at the fair. There will be two people in each team and one ticket will be presented upon winning each game. The team having Maximum number of tickets in the end will win. This was the announcement. So children, let's go to the Champapur fair. It seems that Chanda is also getting ready to go to the fair. But what did Chanda eat? It looks a bit magical. Hey, 
I forgot. Come on, let's go to the fair. The name of the first game is Who is the strongest? Each team will be given one try. The team who will be able to reach the largest number on the scale will win the team ticket. There are a few new numbers on this scale. Do you recognize these numbers? No. It's okay. Let us learn these numbers through the game which is called Who is the strongest? First off, from team 1, Gagu tried. He used his full strength and the flag reached the number 13 marks above 100. Can you read this number? Let's learn how to read this number. This number is 13 points above 100. So, to get this number, we will add 13 to 100. In this way, the number becomes 113. Isn't it easy? Sher Khan from Team 2 is now showing his strength in the game. Wow! The flag reached above Gagu's mark. The number was 57 points above 100. Chanda and Barbula uncle have started to sweat. Let's see which is this number. We will use the process which we just learned. In this way, we can read this number 157. Now it's the turn of Barbola uncle from team 3. Uncle raised the hammer and kept it back very lightly. Now Chanda will have to do something. All the onlookers were laughing at the sight of how this little creature will pick up the hammer. But what is going on? What kind of a glow is around Chanda? Oh God, what kind of a miracle is this? Chanda used all her strength. The flag reached the topmost number which is 210. Can you write this number in digits? It's pretty easy. The process of writing in words is exactly the opposite. Come on, write with me. 210. This is 10 about 200. So, this number is 210. We will add 10 to 200 to write this. In this way, our number 210 is ready. Everyone wondered how Chanda did it. In this way, Team 3 has won the ticket of this game. But there are more games still remaining. We will see what happens in the following video. But before that, we recap what we learnt in this video. Children, in this lesson, we learned how to read and write three-digit numbers. In the previous video, we learned how to read and write any three-digit numbers. Let us learn more about this in this video. Let's see what's going on in the fair. So far, the score is as follows. The next competition is high jump. The team which will make the highest jump in this competition will win the ticket. So far, Baban from Team 1 and Bhola from Team 2 have jumped. They have reached 262 and 228 till now. Now it's the turn of Badak Uncle from Team 3. Uncle jumped hard but with difficulty. He was able to reach only 220. Let's find out which team won the ticket. 
To find out, we need to find the largest number. First, look at the third digit of all the three digit number and then identify the highest number. Here, all the numbers are of the same value. Hence, we will look at the numbers made of the next two digits. Recognize the highest numbers out of these. Here, 62 is the highest number. 28 is the next smaller number and 20 is the smallest number. In this way, 262 is the largest number and 220 is the smallest number. Wow! Team 1 has won the ticket by reaching the highest number. Here is the score so far. There is a tie between Team 1 and Team 3. The next competition is Bursting the Balloons. In this game, whichever team bursts maximum number of balloons wins. Each team will get two attempts. Team 1 and Team 2 have played both their attempts. From Team 3, Badbole Uncle has used his turn. Only Chanda's turn is left. The score so far is like this. Can you find out who burst 200 balloons? Absolutely, Sher Khan burst 200 balloons. Can you arrange these numbers from the largest to the smallest order? Congratulations, this is correct. How many balloons would Baban need to burst to be able to burst 300 balloons? Yes, Baban would have to burst two more balloons to burst 300 balloons. In order to win, how many balloons would Chanda need to burst? Exactly. Here, the biggest number is 382. That's why, in order to win, Chanda would need to burst at least 383 balloons. The gun is bigger than Chanda. Everyone looked at her and started laughing. Suddenly, there were loud noises of bursting balloons. Everyone was astonished. Chanda was firing the gun like it was a machine gun and continuously bursting the balloons. Once again, there was a magical glow visible around Chanda. Finally, the smoke cleared and the counting begins. Wow! Chanda burst 410 balloons. With that, Team 3 wins the ticket for this round. In the end, the scores are like this. Team 3 wins the fair competition with two tickets. Badbole Badak uncle started dancing with joy, but Chanda was surprised. She doesn't remember anything. She still is wondering how she managed to do this all. Maybe she has forgotten everything because of the magical fruit. <laughs> so children, in this lesson, we learn to compare three-digit numbers. Today we will listen to the interesting stories narrated by Uncle Big Mouth and learn about the expanded form of three-digit numbers. Oh wow! Chanda and Golu Panda have also come to uncle's house to listen to the stories with us. The name of the first story is Piper. Many years ago, when Sher Khan's great-grandfather was the king, lots of rats came to his kingdom all of a sudden. 
the rats had created panic in the entire kingdom. They used to enter the houses in the village and quietly eat all the food. The king made an announcement in the village that whoever will be successful in getting the rats out of the village will be given a reward. At first, Golu's great-grandfather tried. He filled an entire room with laddus and left the doors open. He thought the rats will come to the room at night and then he will immediately lock them. It happened just the way he thought. The rats came to the room and he closed the doors of the room. Next morning, when the unconscious rats were counted, it was found that a total of 78 rats were caught. Children, do you remember that we learned to write two-digit numbers in class 2? Come, let's see how to write the number 78. We can write 78 by expanding it into two parts like this. Add 70 and 8. Many other people tried to catch the rats after Golu Panda's great-grandfather's effort. The number of rats caught by them is written in this table. Can you fill in the blanks by using the method of writing by expanding two-digit numbers? Despite everyone's efforts, there were still many rats in the kingdom. Finally, one day, Bunny Rabbit, the piper, came to the village. He went around the village playing his flute. Hearing the melodious sound of his flute, the rats started following him. All the rats gathered behind him. He continued playing his flute and was successful in taking the rats out of the village. The king was very happy and decided to give 625 gold coins to Bunny as a reward. But the king placed a condition before giving the coins. He asked Bunny to tell him the expanded form of 625. Come, let's see how to write the expanded form of three-digit numbers. To write 625, let's start with 600. Can you tell what will we get by adding 1 to 600? Yes, you got it right. We will get 601. Similarly, by adding 2 to 600, we will get 602. By adding 3, we will get 603. In the same way, when we add 25 to 600, we will get 625. In other words, we can say that 625 is 25 digits ahead of 600. Now, by using the method of expanding two-digit numbers, we can also write 25 like this. Add 20 and 5. This method is known as writing in expanded form. Bunny became very popular and he went village to village playing his flute. From the next village, he got 801 coins as reward. Can you write this number in expanded form? Come, let's do it together. 801. This number is 1 ahead of 800. So we can write it in expanded form as add 800 and 1. Bunny got tired going around villages. He thought that whatever prize money he will get in this village, he will use it to buy a small house and spend his remaining life in peace. He drove away all the rats from the last village and got these many coins as reward. Can you identify the number of which this is the expanded form? This is very easy to do. First, we will add 70 and 8 and we get 78. We know that the number 478 is ahead of 400 by 78. In this way, 
we can identify a number through its expanded form. Bunny bought a small house for himself and started living in it happily. Children, in this lesson, we learn to write three-digit numbers in expanded form. In the next video, we will see the interesting form of different numbers. Hello children, in the previous chapter, we learned to write the expanded form of three digit numbers through the story of the Piper. Today, we will learn to write the expanded form of a three digit number by its number name with the help of another interesting story from Uncle Big Mouth. But before telling the story, Uncle Big Mouth has a condition. First, we will have to complete this table. Only then uncle will tell us the next story. So come children, let's fill in this table together. Well done! You have answered correctly children. The name of the next story is Strength in Unity. Long time back, there lived a hunter fox in the forest. All animals were afraid of her. For many days, she had not found a single prey. Therefore, she was wandering in the forest hungry looking for a prey. Just then, she saw a group of birds feeding on the grain. The fox started salivating. The next day, it laid a net there. Like any other day, the birds came to feed on grains there, but they were caught in the net. Some of the birds thought, that they will fly away taking the net with them. At first, 327 birds tried to fly away with the net. Let's see how we can write this number name in its expanded form. Do you remember how to write a number with the help of number name? 327 is 27 ahead of 300. Therefore, we can write it like this by adding 27 to 300. Now, this is very easy. Can you also write 27 in expanded form? Absolutely correct. We can also write 27 by adding 7 to 20 like this. Our expanded form is ready. The net was very heavy. The tiny birds could not lift it. Then they decided to use the trick of flying away together with the net. There were 782 birds. Now write the expanded form of this number with me. 782 is 82 ahead of 700. Therefore, we can write it like this by adding 82 to 700. We can also write 82 by adding 2 to 80 like this. Oh wow children, you are very intelligent. This is absolutely right. The idea of the birds was successful. The fox started running behind them. But the birds flew away higher and higher. The birds escaped from the fox. But their feet were still stuck in the net. Just then, they got another idea. Their rat friends lived at a distance from the forest. They flew to the rat's colony. Seeing the birds stuck in the net, the rats came running and started cutting the nets. This is the total number of rats gathered there. Can you tell the number name of this number written in expanded form? First, let's write this number in expanded form with the help of the method that we learnt in the previous video. Now we will write this number as a number name. 569 This was so easy, isn't it? 569 rats got together and cut the net. The birds thanked them and happily flew to their home. So children, you saw that there is a lot of strength in unity. Children, we learn to write 
the expanded form of three digit numbers with the help of number name. We also learnt that there is always a lot of strength in unity. In the next video, we will cover some common mistakes related to expanded form. Hello children, are you liking the stories of Angal Big Mouth? In this lesson, we will look at some common mistakes related to writing three-digit numbers in expanded form. Uncle Big Mouth is asking Chanda and Golu to answer some riddles. Between the two of them, whoever will answer his riddle correctly, he will give a trophy to that person. Uncle is telling Chanda and Golu. Can you form the number from this expanded form? Uncle asked his first riddle. Chanda and Golu started thinking what the answer to the riddle could be. Children, you also think about the answer to this riddle. Chanda answered at once, 352. Do you think Chanda's answer is correct? This answer is wrong. Uncle said to Chanda, do you know the correct answer? Come, let's solve this riddle together. Children, we always write the expanded form beginning with three-digit numbers followed by two-digit numbers and in the end, we write the one-digit number. Therefore, we will write this expanded form in this way. Now first, we will add 50 and 3 which becomes 53 now we will add 53 to 200 thus we get one number 253 so the answer to uncle's riddle is 253 come let's see what is uncle's second riddle is the expanded form of these two numbers the same Uncle asked Chanda and Golu. Golu answered, Yes. Is Golu's answer correct? Come, let's see. To solve this riddle, we will have to write the expanded form of both the numbers. We can write the expanded form of 798 like this. and 897 can be written in expanded form like this. We can see that the expanded form of both the numbers is different. That's why Golu's answer is incorrect. You will not get the toffee Golu. Your answer is wrong. While writing the expanded form, you exchanged the places of numbers 100 and 1. Therefore, both the expanded forms seemed same to you. Although in reality, the expanded form of these two numbers is different. Uncle says to Golu, Here is my last riddle. Can you write the expanded form of this number? Uncle asked Chanda and Golu. Chanda gave this answer. And Golu's answer is this. Can you tell whose answer is correct? Think, think. Come, let's write this number in expanded form. 553 is 53 ahead of 500. Therefore, we can write it like this by adding 53 to 500. Now, we will write the expanded form of 53 as 3 added to 50. So, this is the expanded form of 553. Chanda just added the three digits while writing the expanded form of the number, which adds up to 13, not 553. That is wrong. We can see that Golu has written the correct answer 
by using the correct method of writing the expanded form of number. Well done, Golu. Your answer is correct. Here is your trophy. Uncle said to Golu and gave him a trophy. Golu gave half of the trophy to Chanda. Chanda and Golu ate the trophy. <laughs> then they went to their homes. <laughs> Children, in this lesson, we looked at some common mistakes related to writing the expanded form of three-digit numbers. Hope you will not repeat those mistakes. like going on a tour of the market let's go on a market tour with appu and learn more about the three digit numbers by grouping them on the occasion of appu's birthday he has invited everyone to the party to prepare for the party he has come to buy some items from the market let us also walk with him first appu visits bunny rabbit stall he has to buy hats for all the guests. I want 425 hats, Apu told Bunny. Bunny's business seems to be doing well. Look how crowded his stall is. Oh wow, see how fast Bunny is giving things to his customers. Apu immediately put forward his big bag. Bunny filled the hats in the bag at full speed. Apu did not get to know when Bunny filled his bag with hats. He gave money to Bunny for the hats and is returning home. Apu is counting the hats purchased from Bunny. What is this? Bunny gave Apu only 420 hats instead of 425 hats. Apu counted the hats twice but found the counts to be 420 hats only. Apu is disappointed. He was thinking that he should have counted the hats in the market itself. But with such a crowd at Bunny's shop, he was unable to count them at all. The next day, Apu goes to the market again. Let's see what he buys today. Apu had asked Barbola uncle to stitch his clothes for the birthday. He has to pick up his clothes from uncle's shop. Apu sees some shining bags at uncle's shop. Uncle, what are these bags for? Appu asked Uncle. Appu, nowadays there is a lot of crowd at Bunny's stall. He works fast due to which he often makes mistakes in counting. So I have stitched these bags for myself, Uncle told Appu. But how will you use these bags? Appu asked Uncle. Suppose you have to buy 367 balls from Bunny. I have two types of bags. One in which you can keep 100 items and the other in which you can keep 10 items. Let's first count these balls one by one. But doing this will take a lot of time. So why not count them in groups of 10 using the bags meant for 10 items? But this will still take quite a while. So why not collect all 10 bags and make a bag of 100 items? In this way, we can easily count 367 balls with the help of these bags for 10 items and 100 items. If we do this, we will have 3 bags of 100 items, 6 bags of 10 items and 7 balls. Did you see Appu? How fast we counted these balls? Uncle said to Appu. Oh wow uncle, give these bags to me too. They will be very useful for me. After taking the bags, Appu has reached Bunny's stall. Give me 224 masks. Children, can you write 224 in expanded form? Yes, you have written it correctly. Bring the bag forward, Bunny told Appu. 
This time, Appu first puts forward two bags of hundred. He then puts forward two bags of ten. Give me my money, Bunny said to Appu. First of all, give me the four masks remaining. Then I will give you the money. Appu said to Bunny. Bunny was shocked at how Appu could count all the masks so quickly. He gave Appu his four masks and took the money from Appu. Appu went home happily after taking his bags and four masks. So children, today we learnt to count three digit numbers quickly by grouping. Children, do you remember Appu's visit to the market? We learned to count three digit numbers quickly by grouping in the last lesson. Children, we learned to write three digit numbers in groups of 100, 10 and 1 with the help of Batak uncle's bags. In the same way, we can write any three digit number in the group of 100, 10 and and one. Let's look at another example of this. Suppose you have to count 281 eggs in the groups of 100, 10 and 1. So first, you write 281 in expanded form. Then by paying attention, you will find that 200 is made up of two groups of 100. 80 is made up of 8 groups of 10 and 1 egg does not come in any group. Let us now see how far Apu's birthday's preparations have reached and learn to identify 3 digit numbers by grouping. To prepare for his birthday, Apu is going to Chanda's flower shop. Chanda sells large garlands of 100 flowers small garlands of 10 flowers and she also sells separate flowers. Chanda has given 3 garlands of 100 flowers, 2 garlands of 10 flowers and separately 7 flowers to Appu to decorate his house. Appu is wondering how many flowers in total did Chanda give him. Let's see what this number is. If we add 3 garlands of 100 flowers each, then total is 300 flowers. Now we will add 2 garlands of 10 flowers. This total is 20 flowers. And we have 7 single flowers. Now we can identify the numbers with the help of the process of writing the numbers in expanded form. In this way, Chanda gave total of 327 flowers to Appu. Now Appu wants to take laddus for his guests. For every guest, he needs one laddu. He took 6 boxes of 100 laddus, 4 boxes of 10 laddus and 3 single laddus. Can you tell how many guests are coming to Appu's house? Let's do this together. There are 600 laddus in the 100 laddus box. There are 40 laddus in the 10 laddus box and there are 3 single laddus. Now we will write the expanded numbers and we get 643. Oh wow! 643 guests are coming to Appu's party. Let's join the party. Appu is celebrating his party in a grand way. So children, Today we learned to identify three digit numbers by grouping. Hello children, did you enjoy Appu's party? In the previous video, we learned to identify three digit numbers by grouping. In this video, we will learn to write three digit numbers using tokens. Appu received lot of gifts in his party. 
Let's see what gifts he received. Bunny has gifted Apu 125 pencils. But because Bunny makes a mistake while counting fast, Apu is counting them again. Apu is counting pencils in a unique way. Every pencil Apu counts, he places a token with the number 1 on the table. When he has such 10 tokens, he changes them with a token that has 10 written on it. Now, when he has such 10 tokens, he replaces them with a token with 100 written on it. In this way, Appu counted all 125 pencils and showed them with 1 token of 100, 2 token of 10 and 5 token of 1. Appu counted 125 pencils using his tokens. We can easily identify and write 3 digit numbers using such tokens. Using this method, we can write any 3 digit number using Appu's token of 100, 10 and 1. Badbola Batak uncle has given 407 toffees to Appu. Can you write the number of these toffees in the token of 100, 10 and 1? Let's write it together. We can write 407 in this way in the expanded form. We can write 400 as 4 tokens of 100. There are no 2 digit numbers here. So we will not use any token of 10. We will write 0 in the place of the token of 10 and 7 will be shown using 7 tokens of 1 in this manner. In this way, we can write 407 toffees in tokens of 100, 10 and 1. Now Appu is counting the marbles given by Sher Khan using tokens. He used 7 tokens of 100, 6 tokens of 10 and 0 token of 1. Can you write the number of marbles given by Sher Khan with these tokens? Let us understand the process. We can write 7 tokens of 100 for the number 700, then 6 tokens of 10 for 60 and finally there are no tokens for 1. So we will write 0 in the token of 1. Now we can easily identify 3 digit numbers in this expanded form. Oh wow! Sher Khan gifted Appu 760 marbles. Come on children, complete this table with the process we have learnt. Well done children, you have given the correct answers. Appu is so happy to see so many gifts. So children, in this lesson, we learnt to write three digit numbers using tokens. So now you know three digit numbers. Let's learn how to quickly count three digit numbers with the help of grouping. Look, Babban is walking in the park while enjoying eating bananas. Hey, what is this shining object? It looks like a magical lamp. Babban picks up the lamp and is rubbing it hard. Wow. 
my master i will fulfill three of your wishes suddenly a voice of a genie is heard from the lamp babban got nervous tell me my master what is your first wish babban is feeling that this is a golden chance for him to become the richest man in the village he said to the genie i want 300 gold coins if you can count all the 300 coins in 5 minutes then you can keep them genie said to babban babban became happy this is very easy i will easily be able to count 300 coins in 5 minutes babban said to genie suddenly 300 gold coins appeared in front of babban you have 5 minutes begin now 1 2 3 4 babban began counting in speed your time is now over jinni said to babban hey hey what is this babban has barely counted 70 coins you could not count all the coins you won't get these coins jinni disappeared after <laughs> saying this <laughs> Babban sat on the bench disappointed. Look, it seems like Babban's best friend Gaggu Rhino is also coming here. What happened Babban? Why are you so worried? Gaggu Rhino asked Babban. Babban narrates the entire story to Gaggu. Hmm, that's all. I can give you an idea. But you will have to give me half of those coins," Gaggu said to Babban. "Uh, okay," Babban said to Gaggu hesitatingly. "I will teach you an easy trick for counting quickly. Suppose you have to count these twenty stones, then you can count them quickly by making groups." Come, let's count this. If we count them in the group of five, then we can count them easily. We will make a group of five like this. Then another group of five that makes them ten. Third group, fifteen, and with the final group of five, they total up to twenty. Wow, Gaggu, this is really easy. But I will have to count in three-digit numbers. Can I use this trick even then? Babban asked Gaggu. Of course, whether counting two-digit numbers or three-digit numbers or more than that. You can use the trick of counting by forming groups. Gaggu explained to Babban. Then I will definitely be able to get the coins from Genie tomorrow. Babban said excitedly to Gaggu. But don't forget my share, Babban. Gaggu said to Babban, and both <laughs> of them started laughing. So children. In this lesson we learned to count quickly with the help of groups. In the next video we will learn to count quickly in the group of 10. In the previous video we saw how Gaggu taught Babban to count quickly through the trick of counting in groups. Come in this video let's learn to count quickly in the group of 10 Unable to get the first wish fulfilled Babban 
is today once again rubbing the lamp in the park. Come, let's see what will happen next. Babban picks up the lamp and is rubbing it hard. My master, I will fulfill two of your wishes. Voice of Genie can be heard from inside the lamp. Babban is happy. <laughs> Tell my master, what is your second wish? Genie's voice is heard once again. I want 300 gold coins. Babban said to Genie. If you can count all the 300 coins in 5 minutes, then you can keep them. Genie said to Babban. This is very easy. With the help of Gaggu's trick of group counting, I will be able to count the coins very easily. Babban thought to himself. Suddenly, 300 gold coins appeared in front of Babban. Your five minutes are starting now. Genie said to Babban. Babban quickly begins counting by making a group of 10 coins. At first, he counted 100 coins by making groups of 10 coins each like this. Then he counted from 100 to 200 by making groups of 10 coins each like this. Can you help Babban in counting coins from 200 to 300? Come, let's help Babban by filling the blanks in this table. This is absolutely right. Bravo! Oh wow! <laughs> Babun has counted 300 coins within 5 minutes. I have done it! I have done it! Yeah! <laughs> Babun started dancing happily. These coins are all yours, my master. The genie said this and disappeared and Babban got all those coins. Just then Gagu came there. Babban was still dancing happily. But today, he was not at all happy seeing Gagu there. He remembered that he will have to give half of the coins to Gagu. He gave away 150 coins to Gaggu unhappily. Gaggu took the coins and left. I wish I had asked for more coins, thought Babban sadly. Just then he remembered that he still has another wish left. Babban is now happy and in his mind he decided what his third wish would be. Babban's third wish, we will see that in our next video. In this video, we learnt to quickly count three digit numbers in group of 10. In the previous video, we learned to quickly count three digit numbers in the groups of 10. In this video, let's learn to quickly count three digit numbers in the groups of 50. But before that, can you complete this table by counting in groups of 10? Well done, children. You did it very quickly. Babban has once again come to the park today for his third wish. Let's see what Babban is going to ask Ginny 
as his third wish. Babban picked up the lamp and is rubbing it hard. My master, what is your final wish? Ginny's voice could be heard from the lamp. I want 950 lamps. Babban said to Ginny. Babban thought that if he gets another 950 lamps, then he could ask for as many wishes as he wants. If you can count all the 950 lamps in 10 minutes, then you can keep them. Ginny said to Babban. Today, 950 lamps appeared in front of Babban. Yeah! <laughs> Babban is unable to control his happiness. Can I begin counting? Babban asked Ginny. Your 10 minutes start now. Ginny said to Babban. This time, Babban is counting more intelligently. This time, he started counting in the group of 50. He counted 200 lamps in the group of 50 lamps, each like this. Then he counted from 200 to 500 by making group of 50 lamps each like this. Can you help Babban? In counting from 500 to 950 lamps, Come, let's help Babban by filling the blanks in this table. This is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Babban has counted 950 lamps within 10 minutes. <laughs> Babban fainted in happiness. He is unable to believe that now he has 950 lamps. These lamps are your, my master. The genie disappeared after saying this. And this time, the lamp in which the genie was also disappeared. <gasps> Babban became conscious and crazily started rubbing one of the 950 lamps very hard. Even after trying a lot, nothing came out of that lamp. Babban was shocked and started rubbing other lamps anxiously. Nothing happened even after a lot of trying. Babban became sad. Then he realized his mistake. He had asked the genie only for lamps and not magical lamps. He started crying loudly on his mistake. Now he did not have any magical lamp with him. In this video, we learned to count three-digit numbers in the group of 50.